It's a fantasy land where people go to find pleasure, get away from reality. It's a place that kind of asks you to be free. I've always liked to be where the big guys were, you know. Dylan Thomas used to hang out on this very route, and I'm sure, like, he threw up a couple, uh, <laughs> one too many rums or something off this route. So all the immortals of the 20th century, at one time or another, stayed at the Chelsea. There are people here who really are the remnants of another time in New York. I'm working on something. Hi, John. How you doing? I'm here. How you feeling? Terrible, terrible. This is where I lived for 16 years. They tried to move all the residents to the first floor, because when the hotel opens, it's going to be very fancy and expensive. The hotel needs to be finished. Yes, we are in the ninth year. Stop. Hey. When was this ever not OK? Janis Joplin may have put a toothbrush in here. There's energy in the building. You know you'll never leave. It's a lot of ghosts going on around here. The spirits or the energy that is here, they don't want it finished. They trying to find a way out, but they can't find it. Are you looking for someone? The Chelsea is kind of like a grand old tree that's been chopped down. The roots are deep, and there's life still coming from it. Rage. Rage against the dying of the light. We're not people. We are ghosts. Like as if you're in a dream. 